Today's meditation is on Matthew chapter 12. God isn't looking for a sacrifice, but wants me to show compassion and mercy and to know him intimately. God made the Son of Man Lord even over the Sabbath. It is always proper to do miracles, even on Sabbath so I will not get into legalism and refuse to do good. I look toward Jesus as my goal. He is Father God's beloved, His chosen one. In Him God finds His delight. He breathed His Spirit upon Him, the same Spirit that Jesus sent to dwell in me, and this pleased the Father. Everything He does pleases the Father. He didn't fight or shout or raise his voice in public. He did not crush the weakest reed or put out a flickering candle. He didn't brush aside the bruised and broken, but was gentle with the weak and feeble. And through his victory over the enemy, justice was released. His name is my hope and the hope of all the world. Any kingdom divided against itself cannot stand, but is reduced to ruins. A town or family splintered by strife will fall apart. Satan does not cast himself out, but demons are driven out by the power of the Spirit of God. Through Jesus, the end of Satan's kingdom has come, and the kingdom of God has arrived. Only Jesus, in his awesome power, could tie up the strong man and plunder his house and take possession of the keys of life and death. I do not oppose Jesus, but work with him, and I do not blaspheme against the Holy Spirit, for that is a sin which will never be forgiven, either in this world or in the world to come. I am known by the fruit I produce just as a tree is identified by its fruit. And this is how I determine the heart of others. I know that the fruit defines the tree. What I say is determined by what is in my heart. What I have stored up in my heart will be heard in the overflow of my words. So I store virtue within my heart, and I produce good fruit out of the good treasury of my heart. I do not speak idle words, for I will have to give an account for every careless word I speak. My words will either acquit me or condemn me. I am not unfaithful to God, demanding miraculous signs and wonders. His word is all the proof I need. There could be no more sure sign than the prophecies given and their fulfillment through Jesus Christ. I listen to his words and fill my soul with his wisdom, leaving no space for anything else to enter. I am part of the family of God. I obey the Father, and that makes me part of his true family. Jesus is my brother, my Savior, and my Lord. Until next time, be blessed and be a blessing.